Hey guys, Fishy here, and it's time to put another Facebook page on the fecal roster. This time we're going to take a look at the American Conservative page, or Conservative Reporter. First, it's not a very big page. It's got only about 6,500 likes, but it doesn't have to be a big page to make a pretty substantial impact. You'll see. Let's take a look at what they're sharing. First, we have this post. It's been going around a while. We actually found it from a Sarah Sanders page in February and recorded about it. And this page just copied the whole thing, the whole video. And this is what fakers do a lot. They recycle the same fakery through page after page. And this one got 11,000 shares. It's still getting shares today. The number keeps changing every time I refresh this page. The page also shares bait like maybe this, this uh, combat wounded veterans parking, uh, or things like this one down here, Jeff Sessions trying to abolish sanctuary cities. There's nothing anybody could do about these things, but this is just to show allegiance to that idea. Uh, some of these are more popular than others. Here's one with Chuck Norris calling Obama a traitor. Well, did he say that? They're sure not going to tell you. They just put music over it. Listen. Music over him in video. And these words here, agree or disagree. Who's going to check it? I will tell you, if you can find a credible source for that quote, let me know. I would love to see it, but 200 shares tells me people are buying it. Here's one. It's newborn babies in a trash. Watch what they do. They put the babies on what looks like a towel or a, some kind of fabric. They pick up something else out of the trash pile and, and put over them. And there's a bunch of people standing around looking at this. Nobody's picked up the babies. Nobody's trying to take them to a hospital. Is this even real? Who knows? It's just this one little bit of video talking about share it to shame the heartless mother that did this. 154 shares, so people are doing that. Um, here's another one that's some bait from IQ Format again. We saw that on our last live troll hunt. So that's a thing that's going around. It might be one of the places that a lot of these fake sites get their content. Um, and let's see what else is down here. These guys are still mining things like the NFL players standing and kneeling during the anthem. Um, they're still mining that for clicks. Here's 386 shares. People like that. People like to argue about that. More bait, Vietnam veterans, this time women, IQ format again. We're going to have to really look into that and see what that is. IQ format again, this time for military amputees. And then there's this gem. This one's hilarious. Here in this, all these pro-Trump messages, we have this. Trump, during the campaign, blame Obama, Hillary, and the media. During his failed presidency, blame Obama, Hillary, and the media. Real leaders solve problems. Fake leaders blame others. And apparently what's happened here is whatever content folder that they use to share to left-leaning sites for bait, they got mixed up and put in this one for a right-leaning site for bait. So that was funny. It only got 35 shares, but yeah, people were complaining about that one. It, it, it's just must have slipped through. Here's some more fakery we've tackled. Jeff Bridges on illegal immigrants shouldn't receive social security. We covered that way back in February as well. Looked into the whole thing, dug into what the pages they were saying uh, actually said, the pages they were quoting, where those quotes came from. And this time it's from, if you watch all the way to the end, like our page, Conservative Reporter. This is the Conservative Reporter page that I think actually has been deleted as part of another network. Um, not sure. I'm going to have to dig into that one. Down further, we have more bait. We have this one, something about Trump's not crazy or stupid, but he's getting close to the truth on Obama and Clinton. 
and pay raise for Congress only after they pay back Social Security. Here's one about violent video games. It's clear that these guys, whoever they are, whatever country they're coming from, are using a lot of recycled fakery and clickbait to try to grow their page. And that makes them perfect candidates for the fecal roster.